much of this blue and purple hair dye do you think I can fade out using just vitamin C? When I did this on red hair, you guys asked me to try it on blue, so months later, here I am to answer your question. I'm using pure vitamin C, aka ascorbic acid crystals, because it's easier than crushing up vitamin C tablets, and I'm mixing that with a no buildup shampoo so I can get as much color out of my hair as possible, and it helps turn the powder into a paste that's easier to apply. Mix it up until it's homogenous, and then you can apply it to your hair with your hands or gloves if you have sensitive skin, and you only need to apply it to the colored areas because all this will do is fade out the color you put on top and not affect the level of your hair underneath or the fresh new hair at your roots. The key to making this work is to keep your hair wet while the mixture is on your hair, so I use a spray bottle of water throughout the process, and this also helps work the mixture through your hair and really get everywhere. One thing to make sure you do is really massage your hair, not just put this on top, and you can really get a lot of the color to come out. Don't be too rough on it though, because your hair is wet and that could potentially cause breakage, so just a little bit of pressure should be fine. After one round, there was a significant difference, so after a couple days and a deep condition, I went in for round two. This is how it turned out, and the reason I'm fine with doing this treatment for several days is because it's the gentlest method on my hair so far, and I really value hair health overall, especially right now as I'm growing it out. And if I had really short hair, I'd be more inclined to use color strippers because they're faster, but the processes do add up the longer your hair gets on the end pieces. I forgot to get a clip of how it looked dry until I started bleaching my roots, but this is how it looked combed out, and it's definitely a lot lighter, but you can still see the color. By round three, it's starting to get closer to what I want, but it is getting tiring, and I really want my new color. So after washing out the bleach that only touched my roots, this is how faded my hair was, and it looks even darker next to those super light roots and without being combed out. So it was time to make the decision of should I keep doing more rounds? Would it be worth it? Should I dye a medium to dark color on top of everything? Or should I do a two-tone Billie Eilish roots with something lighter? So I chose the latter and you've probably seen my current color by now, but this is her with the Billie Eilish roots and the raccoon tail money piece. And I love how I was able to get this outcome without bleaching any areas that had already been bleached. And my curls are still curling as they should. So I hope that answers your question on how well ascorbic acid can fade out blues.